Yer, what's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know right off the rip. I'm on some shit tonight. <laughs> Real talk. Nah, nah, nah. Chill. But look, we're gonna have a good time tonight. At the end of the video, I got something for y'all. Cause I gotta look, I gotta get this out here. I gotta be petty. I know y'all been waiting and shit, but I definitely gotta be petty, y'all. Because it's just this 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 world is just ridiculous. With some of these people, it it, it just look, I have to tell y'all, when I see bullshit sometimes, I'm that person, bro, that has to call it, bro. I have to call it. So at the end of this, I got a treat for y'all. Just make sure y'all stay in tuned or you will miss it. I might cut it out the video because I don't want to give this particular person any type of clout. But I'm going to address it because, you know, I, I just, <laughs> I can't give y'all too much. But look, it's going to get it's gonna get very interesting, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button on y'all way in, man. Look, I know it's been a while. I'm happy y'all got y'all notifications on. Look, I've been doing this uh this water cleanse, this water fast. And look, the first couple days, y'all know how that can be, man. I was just not in the mood for the bull, you know? I wasn't in the mood for it. Where everybody watching from, though? We we got West Africa in the house. We got Florida. Oh, man. Who who, who doing the spamming? We ain't going to spam, though. Not like that. Mexico. I see you. I see you. My people's out there. How y'all doing? How y'all been doing? We got St. Louis in the house. We got Orlando, Virginia. We got Chicago, Tennessee, New York, Vegas, Maryland, Alabama, Queens, New York in the house. You know all this thing is moving. Yo, Michigan, California, Louisville, Missouri, Linwood, Illinois, Cape Town. Damn, South Africa without this joint. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for showing up. Throw them nines in the chat and no fire emojis if y'all ready to get into this video. Yeah, man, this fast has been real, man. Like the first couple days you get a headache and just was not in the mood, especially at night. It's hard for me to go to sleep, but I'm good today. After you get through the first three days, you smooth sailing. I bet, 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 bet. Let's get it. I put together a really good one for y'all. All right, let's get it. They are coming. And the day they do, all rules will change. This is not our rule. Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, to is to serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One side of news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy 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 what they're trying to do is stop us from doing this wake the fuck up the truth they're afraid of even a single voice coming out as challenging the power elite, questioning them, daring to hold a dissenting view. And they're afraid because their arguments are so weak that, that they know they will not withstand the light of the truth. And this is why we're seeing not only still most of the mainstream media very vigorously uh, defending and pushing uh, the Biden propaganda, 
it's not enough. They're going to YouTubers. They're going to TikTokers. It's not enough that they also have Google and big tech basically working for them and with them to control what information we see and what information we don't see. None of this is enough because they won't stop. And it's not just the Biden administration. It's not just Democrats. It's the power elite. It's the neocons and the neolibs working together to make sure that every single voice in this country, anybody who's got a platform, is spouting their narrative that they want people to see and hear their propaganda. Folks, y'all will not believe what this is. This is bitelabs.org. That's B-I-T-E-L-A-B-S dot org. And what do they do? They grow meat from celebrity tissue samples and use it to make artesian salami. You can't make this stuff up, folks. It's impossible. It all starts with your favorite celebrities, a quick biopsy to obtain tissue samples. Then they culture those samples, folks. Isolating muscle stem cells, we grow celebrity meat in our proprietary bioreactors. Nigga, how is that a thing, though? You understand where I'm coming from? How is that a thing? How are we making that a thing? Which one of my lights is this? It's this one? All right. How is that a thing, though? Who buying celebrity meat? Pause. You know, like, like who? <laughs> I don't care where it comes from. I'm not eating that shit. That's crazy. Like, it's some weird things going on out here. It's some weird people, man. By sharing some of this information with Hope you, I'm in the ain't process that. of violating my national security oath. The planet Earth is and has been the subject of an extensive, detailed study by several extraterrestrial civilizations. The human race is a hybrid. We were seated here and we have had an intimate interrelationship with high technology, advanced intelligence for hundreds of thousands of years it hasn't stopped they are still involved i'm not trying to frighten you but i'm trying to say to you that in the next very few short years you're going to be experiencing things that are going to literally change your life in ways you have never dreamed or imagined and you better be ready for it talk about how in the united states all the trees do not bear fruits so i feel like they cut all the female trees and only plant male trees so we do not have access to free food like free fruits because in the philippines if you look around outside the trees they all bear fruit that we can just pick fruits from and i feel like this is why we have seasonal allergies because the pollen from the male trees has nowhere to go, right? So it's the new also, white meat. I feel like Hell it's nah. deeper than that. Another agenda where if everyone has allergies, then you can start selling allergy medication, right? And then people would work more for money to buy their fruit from the grocery store. It's kind of ridiculous. Like I didn't have allergies until I came to the United States. Also, my family develop allergies to like all of my family. It's really crazy. With that, like, it's a lot of things that can go on with the uh, with the allergies. We do allow a lot of things that, you know, with the chemtrails, with the stuff that's in your food. That's why when when I was telling you I was in the military, this is when I first started to learn about the stuff that's in our food. Is when the people in different countries was telling me. So I'm looking at it like, oh shit. You got simple ingredients in here, like three ingredients. While in the States and the same product, you have a list of ingredients of shit that you can't even pronounce. You don't even know what it is. But in other countries, you will see raw sugar, like sugar cane. You know, they'll let you know what it is and it'll be a couple ingredients. And that shit throws your whole body off balance. That's why a lot of people, we having issues now. You know, take care of yourself. Wake right, the TikTok, fuck up, you gotta people. pay attention, bro. So we all know about Amber Richard Bird, right? And Pete, end of the world. But this is gonna make sense at the end. So a lot of us already know, but if you don't know already, Amber Richard Bird was a person who went to Antarctica and found a so-called place called Agartha. Pay attention. These people inside the whole earth been living there for 2,500 years. There is one continent inside the earth and one ocean. Their capital city is built around the original... That's because that sugar's not real. The vegetation grows like 
of paradise. The people live to be up to 800 years old. They communicate with telepathy. The inner earth people have built these androids that fly their flying saucers out to reconnoiter the outer earth. Our government has been knocking flying saucers out of the sky and back engineering these flying saucers. The people that live in the hollow earth are not extraterrestrials. They're from the lost tribes of Israel. So we all know how he talked about Agartha and the inner earth. But we know it's still flat, bro. It still has an inner earth called Shaw. But pay attention. So for a lot of people who don't know, Operation High Jump was really called the Battle of Antarctica. Y'all peep that. It was it was led by Amber Bird. Even when you go on Google and you type in Battle of Antarctica, right? Kombucha. That jump I just like right ginger ale. The Lady Apple is good Operation too. Operation High Jump. Basically, on their way to Antarctica, they had a war with UFOs and shit like that, as you just heard, with the inner earth people, right? The so-called Israelites. You feel me? <laughs> we got your own up. So he had a fleet of planes with him called the Supermarine Spitfire planes, and they basically enhanced this image or video of them chasing the UFO in Antarctica, bro. It's up to you to believe it or not, but peep this. That shit gonna make me dizzy. You gotta, you gotta turn with that motherfucker, right? <laughs> I must say that Admiral Byrd, our guest tonight, is not only our greatest living explorer, but he's been an inspiration to countless Americans. Admiral Byrd, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. Yo, if you've been enjoying my content, bro, and you truly want to support me, bro, click on my link in my, in my bio and just send a dollar donation. You know what, though? I'm about to hook brother up live, bro. Watch this. I'm about to hook him up live because I seen him post a clip, right? He was saying that... uh. That he wasn't getting paid from TikTok, I don't think. Watch this. I'm about I'm about to hook him up though. Live. Real talk. Cause all the money that y'all be donating me, what I do with it is I, I I write that down because I don't get it right away. And then I just I send it to other creators, people that I rock with, you know. So I'm about to do this. What is it? At yeah. See. My bad, y'all. Look, I just gotta show love, you know. Hold on, that's his name on there. That's it, bro. And you truly wanna support me, bro? Click on my link in my in my bio and just send it. Oh, I do that after here because I ain't even on his profile to see what that is. I thought it'd be his name, but I'm gonna hook him up. Dollar donation so we can continue to hear. I ain't got Venmo. Wake the fuck up! I do it after this though. Somebody pull up his uh, cash app for me. Hey, y'all heard me? Somebody, somebody go back, pull up his cash app for me, and put it in the chat. Not even connected. And let me know. Called mainland of Antarctica. Okay. And the second most popular destination is a place called Falkland. And that is a chain of islands that is considered Antarctica. However, it is hey, actually Yeti, located I appreciate more it. north than the southernmost tip of South America. Wow. So the most traveled areas to Antarctica are actually both islands that are not even part of the so-called mainland portion of Antarctica. Okay, so hold on. People, when they go on their luxury cruise yeah, to popping so called up. Antarctica, they're actually visiting the islands where the penguins live. They're not correct. in Antarctica. Okay. Right, correct. Interesting. Okay. And speaking of traveling, as far as being a tourist, there's only one single private company Tiana, I in the you. world that offers a plane trip into the interior of Antarctica. And the name of that company, for anybody who wants to research, is called it. White Desert. And it is out of London, UK. 
And a few notes on that that I found interesting myself is that the price of that trip for each person is $84,000. <laughs> nice. Nice. And for 25% fee due up front, and the remaining balance is due six months prior to the trip's date. Okay. The CEO of that company, his name is Patrick Woodhead, and he has a book titled Beneath the Ice. And it's a science fiction book about a guy that's been hired by M16 Chris, to lead a team of scientists two miles beneath the surface of Antarctica to discover some secret. And of course, M16 is the British equivalent to RCIA. And their official name is the Secret Intelligence Service, and their motto is Semper Occultus, which means always secret. Yeah, it takes a lot of money so lot to of get those real trips. I've heard of the ghost DNA, but they're not telling you what the ghost DNA really is. They're sugarcoating it. But basically what they say on Google, which was discovered February 12, 2020, that there is a ghost DNA in West Africans that complicates the story of human origins. Modern genomes from Nigeria <laughs> of course. and Sierra Leone show signals that scientists call ghost DNA, quote unquote, ghost DNA, Nizzy Lord, unknown human ancestors. That means that quote unquote prehistoric humans likely procreated with an unknown group. Now, this is coming from the Great Investigation, which is a compilation of the original authentic Nazarite scriptures, more authentic than the Luciferian scriptures in the Black Root Science put together. So basically, this is the gods who never fail. Both traditions make a clear distinction between the original world and the fallen world we live in. Likewise, they both affirm that after the world fell, there remain a group of original people from the old world who never fell and stuck around to help. The Black Root Science described these people as the 24 elders and the 144 chiefs, 168 total, who led the ancient world and are still here now waiting for the allotted time period for evil to be over with so they can shut down all the wicked leadership and restore heaven on earth. By the time of the birth of Yahweh, yes, Yahweh, who is Yaqub, a.k.a. Kosi Yalahuehu, which means king of the light races who they were made from wow. nevertheless no I sent them a hundred were being born on earth all the senior citizens who were left soon died eventually at around six thousand years ago which was the birth of the light races the only perfect people left on earth were the long-lived leaders the 24 elders and the 144 chiefs the last group of judges passed away at the time of the birth of our brother yahweh today the 168 leaders are the only people left on earth still with the perfect ancient type of bodies with 12 strands of DNA. Now, although we might not have the original genes from our God body because we deteriorated ourselves into these long lived human bodies as eternal black gods, we still contain melanin, which is an eternal source. Melanin is beyond um, just a pigment. It is. But it is also the spirit of ancestral memory which unites black people people are focused on phenotypes not realizing that your melanin is all interconnected to one cosmic source the god particle that makes us black billy carson or forbidden knowledge is lying to you telling you that we're all the same and we're not i agree white with him on that point the unsubconscious mind of our brother yahweh I agree with him on that. We're not the same, but it's okay though. This we in this is shit hydrolics. together. We here on this motherfucking rock together. God damn it. Right, let's show you right here. Hydrogen. <laughs> See it? These are your hydrogen links. The reason hydrogen links your double Positive helix energy, friends, because you. that's what you the avatar naturally produces, and that's what we used to naturally breathe in the atmosphere before they start spraying oxygen in our atmosphere. Okay? Oxygen drains out the body, which is why we are these copper complexions now. Anybody with carbon in their skin, your carbonated beings are all the people of color who, like I once again, they consider your African-Americans, your Latin Americans, all your Latin races except for Mexicans, okay? And that's not being racist, but Mexicans are human beings. Mexicans are not, Mexicans are not part of the God species or the nine ether being species which have carbon ba a carbon base, okay? This is why a lot of Mexicans honestly fuck with white people hard anyway. And they don't even like Puerto Ricans or black people or other Latin races like that. And that's not being racist because I got hella Mexican friends I rock with and they know I love them. 
this is all for history purposes right now. All right, this is just real scientific facts right now. Now, notice the main thing right here is hydrogen because that, like I say, hydrogen links to double helix strands, and this is what we breathe naturally, y'all. This is what they hear from us in school. Now, they want to tell you in school that this is DNA to keep you believing that you was one, we was all one human race. Yes, human beings and animals have DNA, but they don't even look, they don't even look like this. All right? The DNA has one strand, whereas DEA has three strands. All right? So it's actually one that's missing. And they, and they throw you all the way off by just showing you two strands. You see them, y'all? You see the double helix? One right there. They, they loop it in and out of each other, the big loops. It's supposed to be, th and we actually have three of those. But on the picture, they want to keep it so hidden from us as a people to hide what we are and how we give life to the sun and how we feed off the sun and how we are they, these incredible hawks and these Superman. We are they. Why do you think the Superman character got his power from the sun? Because this is your true anatomy and the genetics. Why do you think um, this is not being racist that black people and Latino people are naturally run faster than white people? We have an extra bone and everything. All right. This is the truth. We are a completely different species. Um, human beings, um, you all have blue veins because that comes from genetic splicing because you have DNA. All right. Whereas um, the nine ether beings, we have green veins. All right. Because that comes from gamma radiation that you see. All right. That's in us. The gamma radiation glows green. So that's why our veins is green and our blood is blue. Our blood is blue because we used to be blue red and green because we breathe hydrogen Avatar. so we are only a, a, a okay guys so i'm gonna drop this video so you gotta think though like you can do this yourself too if y'all go to you can find it on i hate saying go to google you know they got a lot of information that they're gonna put at the top a lot of ads that's gonna misdirect you but if you know how to search on the internet look up our bone structures and everything and 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 like i said this shit right here is not to divide people and say that oh this and that, you know, we are different, but we are here on earth together. So the best thing we can do is be good to each other. You feel me? And that's what I'm on. I'm not, I'm not with the violence to other races and shit like that because we different. Me personally, I think it's dope as fuck that we different. Now we all can figure out our own lineages and stuff like that together. You feel me? I'm interested to see where all of us come from at the end of the day. These niggas come down from the sky and shit. They got Pleiadians and they white people. Okay, bet. That's dope as fuck. We got the Anunnaki. That's dope as fuck. Quote, unquote. You know, it's different options out here in the world. We got to explore these things. That's why we have these conversations. That's why we're doing this together. You know? It's not to target any group of people. None of that shit. I'm not with that. If people want to go with that type of shit, I'm not, I'm not with that, bro. I'm just going to tell you that. I live, in, I live my life in peace and harmony. But we are different. <laughs> And we can run faster than y'all. <laughs> right here real quick. So this is um, a video that I got from one of the TikTokers that I follow. Her name is Rising Phoenix Aurora. And she has some really great content. So I'm going to put her at in the comments. But look, listen to what she's saying. We've been talking about the inner earth for many years. And we've been talking about the different tunnels and gateways that you can come in through. Through sacred lands. And we haven't given you the sacred lands because some of them we can't not share. Manchester is an important one we've been sharing. Sedona is another portal. Raspberry. There's okay, I'm gonna check that out. I like that. Portals in all over Dragon the Sage. That can lead you into another dimension. So you could call it the inner earth because dome-like, there is a dome under it. So there's a flat surface and then the other so human being is a monster. bifurcated. Just look like that up. the image I showed you. So we have us in the physical, but then there's this organic world that is still operating in the fifth dimension next to us. And that's the inner earth and what's beyond Antarctica. Well, also, it makes sense how everything is operating within parallel to one another because everything is parallel to one another in time and space. So here we are, this is supposed to be us and outside this dome, which then passing the Antarctica walls, you go beyond. So why would you be able to connect to all these different Venus, Saturn, planetary spheres outside our realm? Because they're parallel to us in time and space. So now we're understanding time and space at a whole nother level. And you can travel through these waters. And those spaceships that are guarding us, where do you think they're coming from? They're right next to us. Here we are. And then the world continues to flow on. But if there are pockets of spaces 
through quantum physics. She making sense to me, y'all. Into <laughs> and then you enter, say Venus. Like, damn. And remember, we're we're in a small portion of our little part of the universe we're at. So these are you can say the direct races and the direct beings that are closest to us. Look at Nibiru. Then it goes infinite, of course, beyond that. But you do have to be a matching vibration to these worlds. So that's where it gets mm. hard. There were people who left and they went into these realms and they talked about how there were dying. Y'all know what's crazy about this? She said that you have to have the genetics to make it through there. You know what's crazy? What scientists and other philosophers have been saying about the portals and what I do know about portals? See, a lot of people like to say they get downloads and shit. Like, I've seen things in real life. Like, not just a fucking download. That's my download is real life. You know, I get downloads too. But the thing is, check this out. They saying that the reason why they don't want people to know about these gateways and stuff like they're out like there's gateways in um out here in in was it in the i forgot what the shit is called man whatever it's gateways they don't want us down there because our genetics will let us cross over into different dimensions going through these uh, portals and stuff that's what they don't want you to know that's what they don't want you to know it's crazy in these animals that we thought were extinct but they were all based on your genetics you can go see your people basically like the walls that's interesting and gigantic people see but that's the world that we were be before we inverted so that was the fifth dimension going into the sixth dimension and so on so you have to be a vibratory match grand canyon yeah there you, you go realms. appreciate you so how clear are you how how, how much of uh, energy and so on have you vibrated to so is the world prepared to come out of the antarctica rings energetically scientifically they are not because they need to be a matching vibration however definitely could be possible you don't know how this consciousness and awareness will come into earth and shift all our our consciousness and could we raise to a level just like we're going to see in the future when ascension happens to be able to what's interesting she talks about ascending into our higher selves and in, in, in uh, higher vibrations um in order to you know move past the ice walls now if you saw this show right here the 100 really good show pay attention to the last three seasons especially the last episode so basically in the last episode they ascend to you know their higher being and their higher vibration and they leave this realm so take a look at this scene from the last episode of the 100. <gasps> look at this she spoiled this shit for me but i got tired of watching this series it was getting weird but to find out that they they go into their light bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Been saying they like to hide the truth in plain sight, and I really feel like it's universal law that they have to tell the truth. Like they have to tell us the truth, and that's law. So they tell us in a way that it doesn't even sound real or believable. And I do believe in coincidence, but this is too much a coincidence that they be hiding all this stuff in The Simpsons, plain sight. all these movies, Hollywood. Like I don't know, guys. I just feel like we are starting to wake up. When you ascend, what they always talk about, they talk about the light bodies and stuff. That was just like a, a direct reference to, you know, what they say is to come. When you get your light bodies, like. Wake the fuck up, sheeple. I'm the best to ever do this shit. Now, what if I told you, if you heard this sound before every movie, they was brainwashing your ass? What if I told you that the frequencies that was coming out of this shit was distorting you from being able to see and visually hear things? This is how they're able to hide subliminal messages within the movies and shit, bro. And then look, I came across this other video. Look at this shit. Pay attention. I believe one person is creating the emergency. This is how. Okay. 
Check this shit out. Push. TikTok show, just send me a dollar donation. But there's a twist though. If you send me a dollar donation, I'm taking a screenshot of whoever sent me a donation, right? And as soon as I smack out in crypto, make my millions, I'm showing love to whoever showed love to me. You feel me? And my Venmo, just a dollar. Or it could be more if you want. You feel me? I got the folder already lined up. And for my followers that know, y'all know I be locked in on the crypto shit. But other than that, though, bro, please wake the fuck up. Hold on, did I get that shit right? Did I send the wrong person some money, though? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, that's for his other profile. Okay. A dollar donation. I'm taking a screenshot. Whoever sent me a donation, right? And as soon as I smack out in crypto, make my millions. I'm showing love to whoever showed love to me. You feel me? And my Venmo, just a dollar, or it could be more if you want. You feel me? I got the folder already lined up. And for my followers that know, y'all know I be locked in on the crypto shit. But other than that, though, bro, please wake the fuck up. Okay, okay, he replied. You mean the black man is the original man? It yeah, he means replied. that there was no human being <laughs> on the earth or in the universe before the black man. He's the first that God created. Talk to me. Is that racism? No, it's actual facts. The black man is first. We are the father of civilization. You can't find any civilization that existed that predates the civilization of the black man. That's historical fact, biological fact, anthropological fact says that a scholar by the name of Leakey went looking for the origin of man. Where did he go? Africa. He found the bones of a man called Zinjanthropus. See, when they find the bones, they want to hide who it is. They could have just come out and said black man. But they used the word Zinj. In Swahili, I think, means black. Anthropus means man. Zinjanthropus. And you see, did y'all see those statues and shit with the broken noses and shit? A lot, most of them look like that in current days because it had these snogger knockers on this motherfucker that look very familiar. <laughs> they tried to get rid of that shit, but take the nose off that bitch. <laughs> it looks too much like them part, niggers. This is part two the 24 important facts about the 12 Seers and the Gikuyu tribe who's getting ready to punish Disney with the African magic for stealing from the temple with their Black Panther Wakanda franchise. Number four comes from the research reported in Dr. Amos Wilson's book, Awakening the Natural Genius in Black Children. The late Dr. Amos Wilson, a psychologist, showed how black children, particularly Kikuyu tribe children, beat the rest of the world in reference to IQ tests. And this was reported by Ghana's National News. 
So these white folks back in the 70s went and studied the brain development of newborn babies and they tested ethnic groups from all over the world. Literally, black people, white people, Latinos, Asians, everybody got tested. Africans, black Americans, everybody. Who scored number one out of everybody on the planet? None other than the babies from the tribe that we now know has been doing a brain activation ritual for thousands of years. Not only that, but they also live on the holy Mount Zion where they say unique cosmic energies for wisdom and life enter our planet from outer space. Now, okay. is that a coincidence? Well, you be the judge for yourself. Number five, the fifth important fact is the U.S. government started trying to spy on the 12 seers as soon as they discovered that the seers observed the same 50-year cycle of the Sirius B star that the Dogon tribe does. Now, y'all know we always talk about the Dogon tribe when we talk about the Sirius star, but now we got another tribe to add to the list. Now, what's interesting is the seers said that whenever they start doing their divination rituals, the satellites for the U.S. government stop working. So now the mind-boggling question is, how do the seers know when the U.S. government satellites stop working? Y'all better get right. right. Don't let these feathers and face paint fool y'all. <laughs> it's some black folks out here who know some stuff. Number six, we're going to talk about the last time in history when the 12 seers authorized for the forbidden African magic to be used as a weapon. It started in 1948, but it climaxed in 1952 when the British Empire got out of hand with those concentration camps that they tried to erase from history, right? The 12 seers had a nice little meeting in the forest with some cultured activities, and shortly after, the King of England died on February 6th, 1952. Bob Marley seventh birthday while his daughter queen elizabeth was right there in mount kenya kikuyu home <laughs> territory family. It's a divine honor, privilege, and destiny for our generation to have access to the African secrets that our great-great-grandparents didn't have access to. It was not for them. It was for us. We have to take it and do something with it. We have to liberate ourselves and kill all the stagnation. I wrote this book that you can download for free or buy the physical copy. It compares the secrets from the different tribes who declassify this information for our benefit. Just go to thegreatinvestigation.com to get it. Now, if you're black, you have to know the secrets of Africa. There's no excuse no more. It's not the 1990s. Ever since the 2000s, the secrets have been out. I agree. I agree. If y'all don't know, look, it's, it's, it's no shame with not knowing uh, information. But we're in the information age where you need to weaponize yourself with information, right? Hence the words, the information age, right? So y'all need to arm yourselves, not with these guns and stuff. Yeah, had that shit too. But I'm just saying, we ain't going to need that in the future either. But that shit ain't even going to work against us. But the thing is, arm yourself with this information so you can be better prepared for the things to come. You know? So, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy that book, though, just to support. Real talk. I'll let y'all know how it a is. A black slave owner. I had a black ophthalmologist come through here, Ellison. We sat on this couch right here. And his great great granddaddy owned 68 slaves. And here I am, white over here, and my great great granddaddy didn't own any slaves. I told y'all that slavery shit didn't happen like they said it did. Now allow us to continue this goddamn education. <laughs> William Ellison Longhead ass was the largest of 171 so called black slave owners of South Carolina. 171. Ellison held over 900 acres, 68 slaves, and his wealth was said to be 15 times greater than any man in the state. Mind you, this 1860s. Before Ellison, Negro slave magnates Justice Angel and Mistress Horton got married in 1810 in possession of 84 slaves apiece prior. Between 1810 and 1860, they had about 168 slaves and owned up to 2,700 acres of land. Matter of fact, this they plantation behind me. Now this whitewash perception of slavery has gone on for far too long, y'all. But it's all right, because we're going to get it straight. Like, share, comment, uh, skin folk, and let me know if you ever heard of William Ellison or Justice Angel. Part three on the way. Uh, in my session, my work described a planetary system that's extremely crowded and jammed. Ghostly vo voices are flooding into this place, and it's incredibly harrowing for them. Uh, it's a bone-chilling experience. Uh, as a viewer, when I remote viewed this, I had descriptions that it made me upset in the session. It elicited contempt for what was going on at the site. But uh, the activity at the site was this concept of a net that's been spun. And it's an operation of catch and release on a grand scale. Yeah, everybody has so slaves. There's a massive grid that exists around this planet. 
and it acts as a checkpoint, a waypoint or a rest stop where souls are drained and then that in turn energizes something else. So very, very specific information about the Listen up closely to what he's saying. About the clockwork nature over a long expanse of time, as well as this collecting, trapping, and then re-releasing. All this information came in of, okay, what's going on locally here? And the fact that it's the entire planet. It's going to keep going. Listen to what he's saying, though. This shit, this shit wild. The process works is that Earth is shielded by a companion object. And we're not sure if this is a physical thing. I mean, we're dealing with a type, if this is a technology, it's a type of technology that's so far beyond what humans can even probably comprehend. It may as well be. Connie, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. One viewer Did I say that right? uses this word, <laughs> hocus pocus. It's so far beyond his own lexicon that it may as well be magic. So whether this is a physical object or not, we're really not entirely certain. It would make sense that it's not physical, but you know, you can make a couple of different it's the moon. I suppose educated guesses. Uh, it's something that's powerful and magnetic and it squeezes it's the moon. tightly around the globe. Another viewer describes it as a magnetic vice that is attached around a large place. It's a mechanical process that incorporates destructive chemicals and an individual undergoes bombardment as they pass through this system. They pass through this system. And the people that pass through, they feel lost. So they don't have an understanding of what's going on. Kind of associated with the losing of memories would make sense. Uh, but they have this desire that seems to remain consistent uh, through them, as even though they have this feeling of lost. More work described so that winter. is a little bit more specific. It actually gets the information point that these are souls that are being bent back towards the planet and uh, that the information, that the closest analogy was kind of like gravitational lensing. Shout out to if VA. soul is light, instead of kind of shooting off after you die off the planet, off to somewhere else in the universe, what's occurring is there's a artificial structure that is lensing or curving your life back down to earth again and every time right. this hey, occurs appreciate it's you. constantly appreciate you, King. or pulled back it shows that this is an activity it is powering a massive rotating object that visually appears like an axle in space it's fluctuating and absorbing energy that's created by this lensing effect so the act of actually creating the lensing of sending the light, the light soul back to earth generates energy inside of this large structure and we're uh, asleep in prison be, colony I mean, there's chemicals that seem to be involved at least that's a vocabulary to describe what's going on uh something's being bombarded there's a destructive process which i'll get into a little bit further in the work but uh there's actually a, a fracturing that occurs to force this light this soul to kind of come back down to the bcb again, appreciate for you. A second third infinite amount of times but ultimately that's powering something else do y'all hear it? Look, y'all remember that? Have y'all seen that movie Soul yet? So that movie Soul, when he died, right, he was going to the light, right? So what they say about the moon is the moon is a a a, a ball a ball that really just absorbs and does whatever it it sucks your energy from the soul and it transmutes you back to like uh, Earth. So it keeps us bound here on this planet for us, you know, after people pass, they can't ascend. So when you try to, when your soul tries to ascend back to your light body, wherever universe is going to go at this time, the moon is making you come back. So they're forcing us here. It's kind of like a prison. So it's like a harvester of souls. So you seen on that movie, Soul, when he was going up and them motherfuckers was going up to the light and he was looking at them and they was zapping, hitting that light. He ain't want to go to the light. Guess what he did? He jumped off the side. And he went through different dimensions to get back to reality. So he was coming back to Earth. He didn't want to go to the light. It was just going to recycle him and wipe his uh, wipe his memories away and do it all over again. We like dirty laundry. You know, we get washed up and recycled all over again until these clothes are worn out. So we're useless. So the second contextual part of the information that is described is well what is being done to the reincarnating souls there's a fracturing that is occurring so the mind the data, remote viewing data specifically stated that the mind and body of a person is splayed and fractured 
it's rendering them so you're getting too arrogant obs- who that how am i how, how somebody getting arrogant you know what look man i'm gonna do this one personally oh somebody <laughs> look y'all be on it yeah get your ass up out my chat then simple that's not being arrogant that's being real like how's me reacting to my video being arrogant you know set about to get out of here something is being extracted and taken from them without them being conscientious of the occurrence the analogy that was used in the work is that of bees in a box or like a harvest of honey from love bees. addressing people and that there's a honeycombing this is the kind of the trapping within the mesh that's occurring that's going on and then there's a third party that comes in extracts honey out of this box this bee box takes it for some other purpose and then puts the bees back into the box and that, that's the, that's a very close analogy that uh, matches what is going on here with souls another viewer described it as harvesting there's a harvest that occurs when the uh, a soul goes up and then is refracted back down more of the remote viewing work describes that there is the whole circumstance itself is referred to as toxic the number of souls the amount of individuals that are reincarnating on this wheel is that that creates an instability that is required for this alchemical process now they ain't gonna ruin it i just like to address them because they sound stupid planet without volatile she sounds like a fucking idiot get off my channel then if you don't if you don't want to be here (laughs) stupid it wouldn't produce what is desired by this third party the crowded state of earth and the number of souls here is required to create an optimal environment to extract what's desired the confusion and anger caused by the confinement feeds into this process and an aspect of the individual's mind or their soul the intelligence itself again it's using our language may not be literal may be more metaphorical but is that the intelligence or the mind of the soul is being fed on by an external parasitic force the third contextual information all right i'm gonna skip this though i don't know why i'm getting bored with that but nah the reason why i address people man because look yo i'm definitely a truth seeker we in this shit together but one thing i don't tolerate is 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 disrespect don't come to my platform with you which is you know with your shit talking i'm cool on all of that you know <laughs> i'm cool on all of that i just want i just want you to know that i don't fuck with you and gonna be you know they're gonna give it a run but right. you know it's just gonna be hard to beat the chaos right now I think top of the game. Yeah, i gotta go with the majority right. um you know they're they're on a mission right now you know they i guess they want to show the public that last year wasn't a fluke for us yeah. um you know we're here we're for real we're for real people. speaking of showing us two chains you got a shot two chains huh. you got a shot let me see that shot dog speaking huh. of showing School us two trap now. <laughs> speaking of showing us two chains you got speaking of showing us two chains you got a shot two chains Yo, 704 way here. Look, this nigga's stuck. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. I fuck with two chains, but that was weird, bro. I hope they ain't get my boy, man. Two chains, you know what I'm saying? Hell nah, they ain't get my man two chains, did they? Um, and try not to let stuff bother you as much as possible. But it is gonna bother you because you're human, and and I was human. I am human. Still. Is was that shit um, real? But um. But it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, he wasn't that high to make him stop like that, bro. <laughs> unraveling of yet another child star. This is Amanda Bynes we're talking about, formerly of Nickelodeon. Here she is wearing a ratty wig, appearing in court on charges of smoking weed and then throwing her bong out of a 36th floor apartment when police arrived. Bynes insists she is fine, but recent events suggests otherwise. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the story. Gio, sad stuff. It really is, Dan. This morning, Amanda Bynes denies it all, saying she never tossed anything out through the window. It's a bizarre new case for her growing list of problems. And wait till you see how she showed up in that court. You know what's crazy about that is, man, they create these things and then they want to make fun of it. Yo, like, do you un- do you understand like she was in the industry at a very young age around a bunch of creepy adults doing God knows what. And it, and it, you know, 
it has mental ramifications for the things that she went through. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I empathize, sympathize for stuff like that. You know, this industry, it, it destroy children. The technology she, she review estimates that about 20 pregnancies of pig, human, or sheep, human chimeras have been established during the last 12 months in the U.S. Scientists have been combining human and animal DNA for decades, with many details being kept secretive. In the 1920s, an actual half-human, half-chimpanzee was bred by scientists at a facility in Florida by inseminating a female chimpanzee with human semen from an anonymous donor. The chimp then gave birth to the first healthy living human Z. Allegedly, rumors human are that Z. the hybrid was able to say a few words in English and grasp the use of objects around him or her quicker than a normal chimp. But due to immense moral and ethical complications, the creature was killed and the experiments were covered up. The same experiment was conducted in China in 1967 and 1981, with the official story being that the chimp females became pregnant but the fetus died three months into pregnancy. Conspiracy theorists suggest that the experiment was successful and that there was a hybrid born who was taught to speak and communicate fluently. In 1929, the Soviet Union almost carried out an experiment in which a human female would be inseminated with ape sperm. But this crossed the line even for Joseph Stalin, who was looking to create a soldier impervious to pain. The experiment never took place, and the lead scientist was exiled. In 2018, researchers at the University of Copenhagen using stem cells replaced the neurons in a mouse brain with mostly human cells, then conducted tests in which a loud sound was played just before shocking the mice and causing pain. This sadistic sounding study showed that the mice with human cells for brains had memories four times stronger than normal mice. But at what point did these experiments run into immoral territory when being conducted on human-like brains? In 2003, Chinese scientists successfully grew part human, part rabbit embryos in a lab. The human cells were taken from two five-year-old boys and a 60-year-old woman and combined with rabbit eggs from New Zealand. The majority of the hybrid's DNA was human so that stem cells could be extracted, but the embryos were destroyed after Nigga. a few weeks, so it's unknown if a part rabbit human being could have been birthed from an egg. In 1996, scientists grew a human ear on the I back of that. a mouse. It yeah. was grown by injecting cow cartilage cells into an implanted biodegradable ear-shaped mold under the skin of the mouse so that as the cartilage grew, it would take the shape of a human ear. The technique was going to be used to replace place damaged ears in humans, but the project was shut down after waves of protests against such experiments. In 2011, Chinese scientists introduced human cells into a herd of 300 cows to successfully produce human breast milk they say has a Damn taste that's even stronger and sweeter than human. I'll say this about that about that ear growing on that mouse and shit. Like, man, if they got to grow in an animal, bro, I don't want that shit. I don't want an ear that bad. You feel me? A ear ain't that. I, I got a hole, bro. I can just... I can just hear from that shit, right? Put some hair over it so 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 shit don't get in it and stuff. Like I just keep that, bro. I just keep a hole in the side of my head. Fuck the ear, bro. Really, like, it if you ain't go that deep. To deep, deep antiquity, you discover that the Ankh predates Egypt, predates the land of Kem. It's antediluvial. So when you look at the information from the ancient Sumerian cuneiform tablets, and you discover that Enki and Enlil had access to something called a Duran key which was also something called a bond heaven earth, where they would walk from earth into their home planet and back again. Only the elite of the elite had access to this. And in order to activate these stargates, you had to have a Jed pillar Ankh in your hand. So the Ankh itself would have this Jed inside of it. And this Jed looks similar to a Tesla coil, ironically. And then you had the Ankh itself. Now this Ankh was technology along with this Jed and it was oscillator and it would oscillate at the frequency of the atomic structure of the owner of the Ankh. And if you didn't match the right frequency, you couldn't walk through the Stargate. Hey, that's deep. A cool note though on, uh, if, if y'all didn't know, Billy Carson's along with Black Magic 363 and Dr. Something, I forgot his name, no disrespect, but they holding a, like a seminar on the seventh, January seventh. So if y'all if y'all interested, look that up. I will be in I will be in there and I guess we all can see each other and interact. And it's gonna be a dope a dope thing going on. You're gonna learn a lot of cool information. So yeah. Just to let y'all know. Go ahead and support the brothers out there. Tesla has blood on his hands. And he wants to go to outer space. Just like every other billionaire. 
I need to go to outer space. What, what's out in outer space? And they never make it. The rocket shit hits the firmament and the firmament stops it. Ain't nobody been to the moon. Ain't nobody been outside this giant cage that we're trapped in. The firmament is real. This is why rocket ships take off and they start shooting at an angle. They'll scrape the firmament and they always land in the ocean. Then they shoot some grainy film that they were on the moon. It scraped the surface of the firmament, landed. That's all in one day. But the landing is like a week later. But that's when they show it. All the shit happened in one day. There's no satellites out there either, nigga. No, there's no satellites. They are hanging satellites in the firmament. This is our GPS system. They screwing shit into the firmament and that's the permanent GPS system. They call it space. But the space between Doctor B serious, yeah. And God Appreciate you. it's called the firmament. So this is a prison planet. Uh pretty much. We're his pets. Oh. Imagine having hamsters and they wound the motherfucker. If you let them out, they eat your dog and your cats. You gotta have a cap on it, don't you? It's called the firmament. It's in the Bible. Nothing will get through the firmament. So is it a shape of a snow globe? No, um, flat sure, earth. Son, I appreciate you. The world is not round. There's an ice wall around our three dimensional world called Earth. There's an ice wall. I like that name. This ice wall is connected to other so called Earths. Where dinosaurs live, all, all, all. But we're trapped in the center on this planet in an ice wall. This is why if you fly from anywhere on Earth to Australia, no, to Antarctica, why do you always have to fly to England? Damn. To make it seem like the world is round, you had to travel that far. From Florida, Antarctica is about four, four and a half hours. On a straight shot. So why the fuck you gotta fly from Florida to London and then there? Anywhere you come from, you gotta go to London and then, London and then, London and then there. Nikki, I appreciate you. No, you're going to uh, London because them reptilians there said you must come through there. Message, message, look, I travel all through the, I travel this whole globe, y'all. That's something y'all gotta understand about me. I travel this whole globe, and I was always wondering those, I was wondering the same thing. Why the fuck are we flying here just to get here? It just made no sense to me. The math wasn't mathing, y'all. You know, I'm always able to see past the veil. I'm always, be able, I always see the bullshit. So I'm sitting here like, yo, why are we on this plane, bro? We used to be on the plane for days, bro, just flying. In unnecessary uh, ways and you know you can see the maps I'm looking at the map and I'm trying to map this out the math wasn't mapping why is we stopping here in these weird ass spots bro for no reason even 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 the government planes stop at weird locations you know what I'm saying like that's not a direct flight even not even we can do it I'm just always wondering that why are we wasting gas look at that just a simple orb just a orange orb light just that's what i be showing y'all hovering that what the f that's why i be showing y'all showing y'all all the time eat them because they taste so good but what's in them we had this before but it's important so We've learned to accept it, but I don't know if you'll feel so accepting after this. The company Clear Foods recently analyzed 345 hot dog and sausage products from 75 brands and retailers and found, are you hot dog lovers ready for this? Human DNA in 2% of the samples and in two thirds of the vegetarian samples. And get this, 10% of all vegetarian products appear to contain meat. 
Clear Food says that there are some companies producing high quality hot dog, top scores to Butterball, McCormick, Ekrick, and Hebrew National. Human DNA. You're not safe out here. I'm gonna keep putting that one in the compilations. You're not safe out here. Wait, the listen, that that talk is two reasons why rockets never make it to so-called space, bro. One, UFOs be blowing them drones to fuck up before they even try to launch. Or two, they smack the shit out the front of it, bro. Now watch this. Pete. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about the sun. I see your comment for sure. Look at that. It's only one or two things, bro. Man, I keep trying to tell y'all this crazy. shit. Scraping the dome. Look at that. Boom, there it was. I saw it. It smacked this shit out there for me. I'll tell Look, you can't make this shit up, y'all. You can't make this up. Make sure everybody smash that like button. I do. I definitely do appreciate y'all for tuning in. But please make sure y'all hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to donate nothing. Just your contributions. Just hit that like button. You feel me? But the thing is, did y'all see that joint hit the firmament though? So the shit that he was just talking about, I line these videos up in a way where you can like easily digest it from other people saying it. And then you can actually see the proof too as well. You know? That they shot the rocket, it hit the firmament, and it came down. Somebody, please do try to debunk that, please, please. What happened? What happened? The math ain't math. Green, red. I keep telling y'all this: this the hydrogen is coming back into the atmosphere. Nibiru is here. All right. So the hydrogen is coming back into the atmosphere. That that red sky that everybody was seeing in in, 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 in California when the sky was red and orange and motherfuckers didn't know what was going on and they tried to lie on the news and make it seem like it was coming from the fires. No, the fires was real. That was Nibiru. The closer Nibiru is the sun. I appreciate y'all. In a spaceship, all in one. So the closer. Hold on, you said you said run that again. You want to see that shit again? I right, bet. So called space, bro. I got you. One, UFOs be blowing them drones to the fuck up before they even try to launch. Or two, they smack this shit out the front of it, bro. Now watch this, Pete. Y'all see that shit? That shit blew up. Look at that. Look at the UFO. It's only one or two things, bro. This is it going Man, up. I keep trying to tell y'all this shit. This one that they actually got off. Look at that. Boom. Boom. There was. I saw Look it. it. It's coming back down. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Look, a lot of people. Oh, yeah, it, it happens. I keep telling y'all this: the hydrogen is coming back into the atmosphere. Nibiru is here. All right. Hillary Clinton so even said it. The hydrogen is coming back into the atmosphere. That that red sky that everybody was seeing in in, in, in California when the sky was red. No problem. No problem, Gotti. And they tried to lie on the news and make it seem like it was coming from the fires. No, the fires was real. That was Nibiru. The closer Nibiru is the sun, a planet, and a spaceship all in one. So the closer it gets into our atmosphere, the bigger it's going to appear, right? Like right now, people are already seeing this second sun, which they don't know is really a spaceship and a planet and a sun all in one, all right? Because this is how advanced technology is in the cosmos, all right? So as it get closer into the atmosphere, it sucks out this oxygen that was forced into our atmosphere, and it starts pumps in the red iron oxide. Terraforming. We have discovered using remote viewing that something happens after death to anyone who tries to leave the planetary system. Everyone has to come back. Everyone. We do not have reincarnation. What we have is reincarceration, literally. This has apparently been going on for a very long time. Ever wonder why you don't have any memories of your past lives? Why you are always born with a clean slate? Why you lose all your possessions when you die? You know the old saying, you can't take it with you. Well, why is that? If you own something, why can't you get it back when you come back? If you love someone, why can't you see that person again as someone whom you love? Why do you lose everything when you die? Everything. 
And why is information so tightly controlled on this planet, especially information about the extraterrestrials and consciousness? Damon Greer, appreciate it. Why is organized interest in these things so neatly confined to goofy New Age groups who never seem to be able to organize themselves into widespread communities that cannot be ignored by the mainstream? Groups that are easily ridiculed by both science organizations and the media. So I have a few minutes to kill in the car while I'm waiting for a store to open. And I was watching a few videos. I'm a skipper. I ain't gonna cap. Brothers and sisters saw the matrilineal system. Keep in mind that all the kings had to come through the line of the woman. Is that right? That's right. What man can say he didn't come from a woman? Please step forward so we can understand where you came from. Kings and queens. So our ancestors had no problems understanding that divine I'm not sure. principle Somebody in the comments might know. where we all came from. That was the basis and foundation of the goddess. It depends on a lot of different things. The matrilineal system in Africa. And our ancestors saw in order for the king to rule the throne, like you have Ursa Maat right here, the goddess Shishat. Here you see her in the tree of divine wisdom, giving the fruit of divine knowledge and wisdom in order for him to rule the throne. It had nothing to do with no tree of good and evil. The patriarchs who came from the north, the Hicksokes and others who had a misogynistic nature, a hatred towards the woman could not conceive of a woman nor a goddess giving a man anything. And that story was corrupted. The tree of divine wisdom and divine life was corrupted into the tree of what? Because here we have that they created and their biblical stories and the opening of the pages in Genesis that they, there was Adam and Eve. Is that right? And they were not to eat of the tree of what? Knowledge of what? Good and evil. Now who was seduced by the serpent? And ate from the tree. I agree with you, Ace. That's why, sisters, you got to watch and you hear that sound. I agree with you, Ace Boogie, for sure. <laughs> but anyway, but here it's we important see to know everything. That she was seduced you know, be well to rounded. eat the fruit. And then she seduced who? Yeah. Adam. Now, we are told that that's the reason for the world's sins of this first woman eating of the tree of good and evil. And that that's also not only the reason for the world's sins, but her monthly cycle is to remind her of that sin. This is what's taught in the church. Okay? Now, when sisters start jacking that preacher up, who's been equally spiritually enslaved himself to tell that story, and that we were born in sin, there was no story whatsoever in the Kemetic Nile Valley that we were born in sin. So, a few years ago, back in 1988, boy, time is fast. Seem like I just got this yesterday. Brother and sister, uh, <laughs> uh, brother and sister showed me. They said, hey, brother. It's in 1988. Uh, crazy, you Shit. see, that it was a black Adam and Eve. Although they made a black Adam and Eve, that has nothing to do with our story. This is what we see the uh, evolutionists and creationists fighting each other. And they know anthropological studies that black people were first, so they put a black Adam and Eve. And gave Adam a jerry curl and gave Eve a weave. You know, they had to be looking, for good, looking good for each other back then, you know. But it had nothing to do with our story, brothers and sisters. Even though they make it black to make you accept it, this is not... Hey, hey, Adam had that, he had that jerk curl juice back in the days. You feel me? That shit ain't something new. That was back then, you feel me? Still an African story. Uh, black African Magic 363, go to his channel. You'll see it in the links in his uh, comments. I mean, his uh, descriptions in his videos. His newest videos. It sucks out this oxygen that was forced into our atmosphere, and it started pumps in the red iron oxide, nigga. I this was already in there. I fucked up and put that in there again, didn't I? But look, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know which one is better. I'm doing the three day water cleanse, and then after that, I'm going on fruits for like the remainder of my uh, detox. It resets. So planets. another 15 days, maybe. It's a spaceship that we created that orbits throughout the whole cosmos, and it goes around and it helps. Indeed, we find that both are the same people, and that the fish beings are also the Anunnaki Shining Ones, the gods of Sumeria, and the Elohim of the Bible. The US government insiders probably relates to the ancient Greek word archon, that means ruler or lord. And here on the left, 
next to that's a good question go back to the dark next time is yeah i am an arcaloid from our ancient past this is a carved stone of the sumerian sun god shamash in ropey headdress as depicted in sumerian clay images these eyes do have vertical pupils like a cat or reptile. The coiled rod in Sumerian text is described as a communication device, exactly as Alan Sandler and Emmenegger were told that the rod in the meeting with Project Sigma with our government was a translator. You hold the rod out, and whatever the language center of the brain is of the being in front of them, doesn't matter what it is the rod is interacting directly with the language center and therefore th there's telepathic download a two-way street and the implication is that the rods in Sumerian and Egyptian carvings were used by archaeoids to communicate with manage and control the homo sapiens sapien created by manipulation of DNA in already evolving primates to produce workers for Mesopotamia ruled by off-world overlords. The evolving primates were deliberately kept ignorant of the true bigger picture. Government insiders run scared when they realize that the ancient Mesopotamian overlords were actually some form of archaeoids that humans have worshipped as Sumerian or Anunnaki gods that are a hybrid mix of praying mantis and lizards. And the further revelation that the genetically skilled other intelligences manipulated DNA in already evolving primates to create various models of Homo sapien that have been subjects of an even social experiment for thousands of years, perhaps millions of years of their genetic manipulation in many waves on this planet. That what could up, explain Chantel? why Earth has been such a haunted planet with so many mysterious phenomena and why power structures have always ruled with secrecy. And these people talk about this shit in... And it's and it's crazy because most people don't see these videos of these people having these press conferences talking about extraterrestrial things. You actually have to like do some digging, but they do talk about these things. They do have press conferences. Like you've seen other governments on this channel, bro. I done showed y'all other governments talking about the extraterrestrial races and stuff like that. I don't think any of them have a hundred percent proof and facts of like I think they're trying to mislead people. That's what I'm going to try to say. I think they're intentionally trying to mislead people with information. I think they know a lot more than what's being said based off what I know as to be fact from experiences in real life situations. You see Homer with a halo over his head, you better back the fuck up. That's ancient shit. I'm telling you. Black people mainly have the halos, you feel me? But black people that act out of righteousness, they heart. Coming back, dude. The gods that come from the absolute source and nothingness and are all connected to everything. Look at that. They showing you the halo technology. They really trying to show y'all who's really finna come. This that real crystal shit. Crystals. The Christ shit. Christ consciousness. That's really what this shit is. You feel me? Atlanta, Georgia. Y'all remember that time Fat Man Hardy killed 38 Negroes by it's poison big. I appreciate hoops. you. Hell, if y'all didn't know, y'all know now. See, Fat Man was known for slanging that giggle water. As long as you got dollars, he can make you holler. One day, Fat Man got a big ass order for some Negro club owners down in Atlanta. Knowing good and damn well he couldn't fulfill the order, this dumbass comes up with the most horrific plan known to man. Due to the fact that he ran out of ethanol, he decided he gonna use methanol. And very shortly after, niggas was dying everywhere. Those who didn't die was either blind, paralyzed, or a combination of the two. Fat Man, fearing that he may have fucked up, decided to run. But as you may tell by his name, he didn't get very far. But luckily for him, on account of being a heavy shaggy, <laughs> he was too big for the electric chair. So, <laughs> nigga, what? Yeah. Like, share, comment, and let me know if you ever heard this story before. 
<laughs> Why is that nigga so funny, bro? Did Tesla create? It's the voice. It's the voice. Um, a healing. Um, machine. Machine. Yes. It did. And uh, it's not. It's not allowed. Yeah, to my be email is my right channel or, name at Gmail. Or... The technology is findable. The technology is doable. It has to do with frequency, vibration, understanding what the vibration of different diseases are and knowing how to apply certain frequencies to them that cancel that vibration of the disease out. Mm -hmm. So it's doable. In a sense, even though some of Tesla's papers may have been taken by certain individuals who didn't necessarily prefer that the general public understand some of the things that he did, that technology is not necessarily that sophisticated. Did he have any help from the... <laughs> you all have help. You all have guidance. But understand, he was an extremely tapped in and talented individual who had extra dimensional abilities. Do you understand how he utilized what you typically call hallucinations? Oh, no, I'm not aware of that. As a child, he experienced hallucinations so real, he could not necessarily tell what was physically real and what was in his mind. He actually, over time, learned to control that ability to the point where he could actually construct in front of his eyes as if it were physical. The devices see them operating. If they didn't seem to operate properly, he could literally act as if he was taking them apart physically, look at where the problems were in the hallucination, repair them in his mind, put them back together, and then all he had to do when he built the device was copy the hallucination, and that's why his devices worked perfectly the first time when he built them. Interesting. Have you guys noticed that our food products keep getting smaller? I mean, think about it. it seems like the prices are going up a little bit and the product is getting a lot smaller. Let me show you guys. It's not only food though, I'm talking about also paper towel, paper toilet, deodorant, everything. Let's take a look at these cereals for example. You can tell that this one looks a lot taller but it's skinnier versus this one. And even though it's taller, it has only 18.1 ounces while this one has 19.3. So what is going on? Clearly a lot of these greedy companies are trying to save for production costs. And at the same time, if you guys look at the ingredients, which most people don't do, they've been no. using a lot less nutritional ingredients to save production costs as well. All it's doing is giving you less food and having you have to go to the store more frequently while the company gets to profit off it every purchase. Look at these boxes of tissues. In this one, you get 65 tissues. and that one, you get 60 tissues. But you're still paying the same price for the new box of tissues. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> look at yeah, the new yeah. female deodorant. This one right here is the new one, and this is the old one. This one right here is longer, but if you look at it, it only has 2.1 ounce, while that one has 2.6, and that's the new look. They usually do that with that new slim look, but if you see it, they cut a little bit of deodorant, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. It's the same thing with men deodorant. This was the old one, this is the new one with the slimmer look. You barely notice it. So just letting you guys know, whenever you see a bottle that has that slimish look, it's because they're trying to save on production costs. <laughs> hey, they real spill. Surface dwellers, inner earth dwellers. Oh. Did you know plants grow towards the source of light? So therefore, plants grow towards the sun. Do you know what else grow towards the? Yeah, it's a copyright, bro. This nigga. Directly killed for. Remember your hair. Mm -mm. That's a J. Cole copyright, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you're gonna lose something. So I whether all about you agree that with me or not, I believe people are going to feel the fact that someone is brave enough to say something. Every day I do five things that people have been historically killed for. Every day. He's right. And it's just, yo, I want to prove, first of all, I am Jew also. The 12 lost tribes of Hebrew. Do the math. Do your research on it. We have got our culture ripped from us and then told we were just simply void of color, which is another definition for black. 
But if we knew we were a culture and knew we were a people the way the Jewish people know, then we wouldn't abort ourselves. We wouldn't shoot each other dead in the streets and then rap about it. We wouldn't uh, brag about, you know, having sex with each other's wives. We would keep our families together and we would do business together. The most dangerous person for a uh, most dangerous place for a black person in America is actually mm-hmm. in our mother's stomachs because 50 percent of black deaths a year in America is abortion currently. I mean, I can keep going, but I want to make it. Hey, boom. Well, yeah, well, no, Ask me listen, questions. I, I, Let's yeah, go. I don't, I don't. Hey, you know, it's crazy. I don't, I don't agree with everything he, he'd be saying, but I agree with him but the, on a lot of shit. So the thing is, he sees it. He sees it for what it is. A lot of people can't see things for what it is. It's all perfectly wrapped for you, and you think it's that product, just like the products with people. You, you you're paying more for less now, and uh, and most people don't even know about that shit, you know. But people like Ye and like myself, I I see it. I see it. I see it when it's happening. So when we explain these things to like masses and stuff like that, sometimes we can come off as like, quote unquote, crazy sometimes. Oh, you until you start to look at it yourself and be like, you know what? This nigga ain't tripping. It's really happening. So that's 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 what it is, man. You know, he has a I, I don't agree with his delivery with a lot of things, but that that is very true. And you got to think just just check this out, though. Planned, Planned Parenthood was to destroy black people. It was invented by a white woman. Then on top of that, look at look at look at your neighborhoods. Where do you see? Let's 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 do something right now. Where do you see that for everybody, for every race on here? Let's tell the truth. Where do you see the liquor stores? Do you see them in 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 in, in uh quote unquote higher class neighborhoods or quote unquote white neighborhoods? Do you see them on every corner? Absolutely not, nigga. I answer that for you. Absolutely not. Now, blood donation centers. Where do you see that at? Where people can go sell their blood for money, right? Where you see that? Do you see that in white neighborhoods? Why do they need your blood? Because it's very rich in genetics and they need to use that shit. So they put those shits in black neighborhoods with people that are living in poverty. That's a, it's easy to go donate your blood so that they can use your shit. They don't. It's not in these white neighborhoods. Let's tell the truth. It's not. Let's tell the truth about this shit. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to sit here and sugarcoat, man. Those days are over, man. It's just simply what it is. Is built to destroy us. A Simple. Into another and realm. use us. You might they want to use us, but they don't. They, you know, it's just shit crazy. Just like the NBA, they want to use all of our talent. Look at the NBA. Who's on the floor playing? Who are the superstars? Mostly, ninety-nine point nine percent is what. Okay, but then they want to cancel contracts and shit like that. We have to understand. We don't need Nike. Nike need us. say it's a realm of the gods do the three pyramids of giza really represent some sort of portal to yeah, i'm not donating realm? shit perhaps more clues about the sacred nature of the triangle can be found by examining the work of one of the most celebrated mathematicians of all time because the true jews according to the bible you can check it in the bible you can read job 30 30 on some other places they have never been white. They have Adrenochrome been people too. of color. And they have not stopped in Ethiopia. They were in, West, in Ethiopia, Sudan, and they have settled in West Africa. From West Africa, they have been taken as a slaves to America. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. America gonna be, do everything, gonna invest as much money as it has, and gonna fight as much wars as they as they can, gonna invite as much weapons as they can, just to hide this away from you. It has been deleted your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. 
people speak to so you. So you had seen aliens on a on a craft that had crashed. I wondered if you could describe what they looked like. I could. I could, but it would probably take a whole lot of time. The reason I state that, when I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species. Uh, you have individuals that look very much like you and myself that could walk among, among us and you wouldn't even notice the difference, except for some of the things that uh, they might be able to go ahead, even in a dark room, and touch an object and go, a, go ahead and identify what color that object might be. They would have a heightened sense of smell, sight, uh, hearing. Uh, the uh, situation is that you have various types of what we normally call grays. We didn't call them grays in the military, but you had at least three types of the grays. Oh, I, I ain't getting deep in it. We dominated much everything. Taller than we were. Uh, the unique thing I th uh, that I'd like to point out for the most part is that the entities that we did catalog were in fact humanoid. Now this created a situation where the scientific community was trying to figure out why that would be the case. Because you would expect that if life evolved on other planets, that they would take on some type of other uh, being, so to speak. Not necessarily look humanoid or be bi bipedal such as we are. But apparently, we got quite a few of the species out there that are humanoid in appearance. And that creates a question that yet has to be answered by science. Uh, yes, a security I'm... lieutenant asked two strangely dressed females to lift the dresses for security check because he could not believe they had it. He is six feet tall and they were towering another four feet above him. So he naturally thought they were in work extent. I don't believe that last clip was no aliens, y'all. So don't believe that shit. Those big, tall, purple motherfuckers that that's not real it's makeup and shit models i'm charles jones brigadier general u.s air force retired in the years 1953 through 1962 i was stationed in germany then we moved to england in 1959 while assigned to the 42nd tactical reconnaissance squadron with dual missions of electronic countermeasures and weather reconnaissance we also had the responsibility of reporting jet engine contrails throughout our area of responsibility in Europe, North Africa, the Mediterranean, and Eastern Atlantic. We were responsible for pinpointing the exact altitudes of all jet engine contrails noted within the flying area of responsibility in both the weather and ECM aircraft missions. We became experts on jet engine aircraft contrails and all of their characteristics. Much different this from the said? white aircraft spray trails that consist of scientifically verifiable strain of aluminum particles hey bro, get the fuck and other off my channel. toxic heavy metals, polymers, and chemical components. These are the long white spray trails that linger and slowly expand into light cloud cover that soon cover entire areas with an overcast, very light cloud cover. I had, to, I had to put that nigga in time out. Okay, so you're gonna have to pause and read, but I did find information on how to use black people hair to put in furniture. And just because you're black doesn't mean you're African, you could be native, you could be anything, but I don't know why you label it black and white, but here is human hair in the furniture from slaves. Um, I tried to slow it down so you would be able to see it. Um, if you look over down towards the left, you can see the person that had the video, so you can go ahead and look at the full content. But that is hair. And this is an empty chair. And here's another one. If you look over to the left, you can also see the TikToker, so you can go ahead and look at the full video. I couldn't find anything on the skin, but it's out there. The more we open our eyes, the more they will delete stuff from the public eye because we've been such in a trance. We wasn't even thinking to look into this stuff, but now that we're woke, they're starting to take stuff away. So what do you think? What's your thoughts? Working in your body. Well, you have certain different souls and all the hearts. Look, we're gonna cap it. We're gonna cap it right there. I'm gonna show y'all something, though. I'm gonna show y'all something. See, this is. I just had to put somebody in timeout because you know what? I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of people. But look, I got hit up. On uh, I'm 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 gonna show y'all something. So y'all know what I'm doing next. We're gonna start interviewing a lot of these people that y'all see here, right? So all of that stuff is being set up. But one thing that's not gonna happen is this right here. You know what I'm saying? This clout chasing shit right here. Show y'all something. Somebody just, this dude just made this joint. Check this out. 
Yeah. <laughs> and I don't care either. Like, hold on. Check this out. Look at this, man. I don't even want to put his channel name on there. Check this out. He got a whole... Look, look, look. You see who that is right there? That's me, right? You show me what, what? Well, let me go back. I don't want to... He's showing all of that. Check this out. He said that he want me to get him some money. Some money. For putting him on my platform. He wants some money, bro. He hit me on TikTok, bro. Mad. Because he want me to get him some money. He's already, bro, when you when these videos up here, the tags is in the video for y'all to see. So if y'all want to follow some of these people, y'all do that. You feel me? And I always implore y'all to follow the people that y'all rock with. Obviously, y'all not rocking with this nigga. Y'all don't even remember his clip. Right? So check this out. I want to play this because it's, it's entertaining and stupid. You know, I like to call out dumb people from time to time. Just like the dude that told me stop pausing the video because don't nobody want to hear me. But don't be here, nigga. Like something wrong with y'all. And I want to keep pointing this out. There's mental illness going on out here, people. We're a bunch of grown people. We're a bunch of grown people. Don't watch somebody that you don't want to watch. And I'm with the petty shit. You feel me? When it comes to stuff like this, because it's just, it's just, y'all got weird type of behavior, bro. I don't watch people and I don't comment on their videos if I don't rock with what they doing. That's a hundred percent. You feel me? He said, give me, he was begging for a shout out and begging for money, bro. But then he told me that he make $2,000 a week. He was like, oh, I, I don't need money. Like, bro, look, I don't want to talk about money because <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. But look, check this out. It's Timo got knowledge. And I'm gonna just go through this real quick and we're gonna show y'all the video. Um, because I know y'all what y'all here for, obviously. But I just want to show y'all. Ain't nobody here for nothing. You got 54 people, channel, bro. As you can see, um, yeah, community guidelines. I was going in on that. This video had like almost this video was cracking, bro. But, anyways, um, yeah, man, I put my content up here. I probably put maybe nine videos and I have 10.2k likes, about 1300 followers. But my point is this, man. Um, I've actually been like hitting things like really hard, bro. Like as you can see, like this video has almost seventy thousand views, and this one had almost like fifty. But it's the community guidelines, and you know, I just been I just been trying to upload here more because I feel like I reach more people as far as me getting only six hundred and about seven hundred subscribers. Hey, y'all go show this nigga some love, man. One thousand three hundred and forty-seven here, <laughs> you know. Um, the algorithm is better. Another, Another thing, thing is, yes, this is the PlayStation app. Um, I am a Twitch streamer. Um, I'm a spiritual, conscious, woke streamer. You know, I have two different platforms. Uh, you and you see how his boy hit him and shit was telling him he was like, "Good for you. How are you, my? How are you, guy? The thing is, he came at me talking about money for a little clip, bro. And then guess what, bro? See, people be fucking up their blessings because look, I was going for a lot of these people, I'm putting them on my platform to do interview. He hit me on TikTok. The videos on my TikTok. I got a TikTok, a burning one that I find videos and stuff, and and I put these videos together. But yeah, he tagged me on there. I ain't going to I, I mean, it ain't even worth it, but I just want to let y'all know for other creators, bro, like and, and this is the only one, but I just want to stop this bullshit because it's stupid. I, I, I'm going to put people on, bro. And your videos is tagged so people can follow you, right? We all tracking with that. We're all adults here, right? There's no need for this bullshit right here. You, he, he, Bro, I, it's, just, it's just alarming to me that you just don't get it. Why would you make this video? And then check this out. The video ain't even about me. The video's not even about me. You're clearly clout chasing, bro. You're clearly clout chasing. I only want to watch the rest of it. Y'all can watch the rest of it if y'all want to. But the video's clearly... You see what I'm saying? And bro, like, look at this. They react. He's watching my reaction for a very long time. Watch this. Out of a... You see how long these videos are? Sad that I don't be sharing it, but like I really do need to be 
But nah, he came at me the wrong way. Show that nigga some love, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, show him some love. Don't come up. Don't don't nobody go at him and bullying him and stuff like that. But I'm just letting you know that this is stupid, bro. Because you could have had an opportunity to come on my channel and do an interview. But with this type of shit going on right here, bro, you'll never be on my platform, bro. I want to end it on that note right there because I'm a solid dude. I do solid shit. So it is what it is. But one thing I want to let y'all know that this platform is for everybody. It's for everybody to come and have a good time and we all going to vibe out. You feel me? All these clowns, bro. All y'all motherfuckers that got stupid stuff to say. Y'all can leave, bro, respectfully. Because nine times out of ten, you see me in real life. Y'all, A lot of y'all think I'm short, too. That's a, that's a myth. A lot of y'all think it's it's sweet out here. That's a myth. I'm 100% sure in real life, y'all would not have that same energy, bro. So keep that shit to yourself, bro, and walk your path, man, and be the best that you can be. And stop trying to fuck with me because it's not it's not it's not good for you. It's not good for you, man. You need to be focusing on you. And I want to end it on this point because look, this is a learning lesson, bro. Like you could have been on. I could have put you on here. But the thing is, this is the learning lesson, bro. Learn how to grow mentally and stop burning bridges. Stop burning bridges. You feel me? So you you see other you see other creators come on here and it's gonna be dope, man. We're gonna have a good time. I'm excited about what's to come in the future and stuff like that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all smash that like button. What is it, like five thousand people in here? What's my IG? My IG is DreOG underscore 704. Yep. So y'all can go ahead and follow me on that. We'll probably do a call in sometime uh, sometime this week. I'll surprise y'all with it, though. Make sure y'all got these notifications on. We should have 5,000 likes at the end of this joint, though. But yeah, we're going to end it right there. Hopefully, he got the shine that he wanted. You feel me? Hopefully, his views go up. I wish him nothing but the best. But look, stop fucking with me. Stay out my way, all right? Stay out my way. I don't be bothering nobody. But yeah, I, I holla at y'all. Like I always say, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video, and I'm out this thing. I got to go lay down, man, because this water fast ain't no joke, y'all. Real talk. <laughs>